Hi, before we get you into the lab practice giving adenosine uh, by administration, we just want to spend a couple of minutes here demonstrating the use of the three-way stopcock as an expedient to administer adenosine. And as you know, there is an issue with the uh, glass um, uh, adenosine syringe in that it is futile to try to force the tip of this directly into our clave ports. You will ruin the clave port and the whole thing is for naught. So we're going to give you an easy method here, or a suggestion at least, uh, to use the three-way stopcock. In your kits, or at least what's available to you here, will be the traditional glass syringe uh, times three, the uh, stopcock that you're familiar with in the I.O. administration under uh, saline pressure, 20cc syringe, a 10cc syringe, and all the fixings. We have our subject here presenting with a tachycardia of 160 and is indicated uh, for the use of aden uh, adenosine, uh, awake, uh, not too hypotensive, and we'll begin first by setting the thing up. Your 20cc syringe will draw saline from, lock that off so you're not sucking the patient clear of your blood, and then just pull 20cc's of flush saline. Hang on, keep on this so that when you press it in, the one-way valve is tested for backflow and I don't get any backflow. And then remove this and maintain sterile procedure, so aseptic uh, procedure, do not touch that. And now the use of the three-way uh, stopcock this is essentially three little channels marked, and you're going to have to look because uh, you really can't see that very easily. This is neutral, so no flow on this direction, and flow to any of the presenting um, inlets or outlets. First six milligram challenge to the patient is to take now the glass syringe, which was incompatible, still is with the clave, and put it into this one, which is compatible. Lock all of that in. The push, as you'll see momentarily, is going to be first adenosine in and out. So you just line up visually the channels. Nothing will go back here. And immediately after pushing that, we do have an issue with backfill during the saline flush. But this has just prevented that by shutting off backflow to the syringe. To demonstrate, the patient presents, still fine, reassure them, clean the area, attach the device, make sure it's all there because it's being given under pressure. We know that the back check valve works. If it doesn't, if there's a bubble or whatever entrained in it, you can either shut it off with the slide or with the lower one here. And open the channel. Okay, that goes from there to there. As soon as I push that, I'm going to roll that down, open the channel through, and flush through. This has proven superior to load the bolus towards the heart than squeezing the IV bag. So this is why we go to a high pressure device like this. Start our print, give me a moment here. We're ready to go. So first squeeze, pushed in, then immediately swing that down and follow through with your syringe flush. Six milligrams in initially. You're finished with that. Use a three-way stopcock to fill a 10 cc empty syringe and you're going to mount this where the 6 milligram syringe was and you're going to take two, two more adenosines and you're going to fill this syringe by pressure Fill the syringe. There's the first six in. The patient has 
not improved. There is our second six in. And we now have 12 milligrams. Again, reattach our 20 cc syringe, and we're ready to go for the 12 mil milligram push in the same manner. as we did for the 6 milligram. Again, everything is secure, a little extra common sense in here, and all set. In goes our 12. Switch the lever to the open channel and follow through with your saline flush going directly to the heart and then just observe to see if you have any change in the rhythm. Reassure your patient and reassess.